Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a video on Tickle Pink Airbrush Makeup. And the, for those of you who don't know who they are, they are aloe infused uh, makeup line and they do airbrush makeup, skincare, and they also have some other products that work really well with the um, airbrush makeup, which I'm going to talk about today. Um, and just to give you a quick summary of what colors and what I'm planning to do today, I wanted to do kind of a smoky eye. I'm going to be using some grays and a charcoal. I'm also going to be popping in a little pearl shimmer as my highlight through the center, and I'm going to be using a soft pink for my cheek. Um, but I'm going to start today using their whiteout. Um, I want to test this out. I'm just going to give it a good shake. You want to shake all your airbrush colors, I'm sure you know that. And unlike other brands, you're not going to hear a little ball. Um, just give it a good shake. And I uh, hope you guys like the new background. I'm just trying it out. I'm playing around with different looks, backgrounds, rebranding, taking time out right now to just kind of um, play around, which I don't normally get to do. So I'm actually kind of excited that, you know, I'm trying to use this opportunity and see it as an opportunity to just kind of play around with and have creative fun where I can. Okay, anyway, so I have the white out. I'm going to go in. And I'm going to use this as almost like an eyeshadow base. And I'm just spraying lightly. I have a tendency to spray heavy, so. And the airbrush I'm using does not have like controls where you can do the speed. So I have to be really conscious of talking and spraying and what I'm doing and thinking about. And it's just part of technique. So as you can see, I've got the white on. Okay, and then I've got this gorgeous, um, I've got charcoal, pewter, and coriander from them, which are really beautiful. Um, and I think I'm going to be mixing those colors with a pop of pearl shimmer today. I will put a link with all the products I use from them today down below, as well as a link to their website. It's worth checking out. I really do enjoy their product, and I had a chance to visit them one time at their trade show, and I did an airbrush kind of portrait with their product so I really liked it um, let's see here so we've got pewter just give that a good shake it's so easy to forget and then it doesn't come out in the consistency you want and it's really pretty easy it's not as difficult as it sounds okay it becomes second nature so I'm gonna just do my lid with the pewter just a little bit more I'm gonna gently just kinda pull it so it's taut A little bit more on my corners just to really get that definition in there. I'm not too worried about getting the whole lid even today. I really just want to get it into, and I'm just going to spray lightly. I'm also one of those people who love to spray outside the lines. I don't try and do, well at least on myself, on clients it's always different depending on what look I'm creating. Okay, so you can see I'm just building it slowly. And then while there's no product in there, I'm just gonna give it a little spray to help dry it, just to soften it. I like to let the airbrush breathe a little bit because I like to layer, and that can turn into a mess in terms of just getting a little wet. I also have this gorgeous talic powder. Let me show me the lid from them. Ooh, it's a little dirty, my, my cover. Flawless finish. And I'm just gonna tap that in between just on the lid part. And it's just got a little thing where you can go like that and tap. This is handy if um, it's getting a little wet and you're not sure what to do in between airbrush. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in. I'm just gonna do another little layer with the pewter just gave it another shake to test that. Oh, that's really pretty. It's almost like a matte gray. Okay, so I'm not gonna get too anal with it. I'm just gonna basically get color on because I'm gonna add in a couple more colors. 
And then I'm just gonna give it a little spray, give it a little air. It's really quite pretty, it's very matte. And you can see the, oh no, it's got a shimmer to it. Pardon me, I'm saying that wrong. It has a quite, a, quite a pretty shimmer in it. This is the first time I've actually used it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the charcoal. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a petal pink. And what I wanna do with this one, making sure I'm grabbing the right ones because I don't have my glasses on. I'm gonna give it a good shake. I just wanna do a little bit in the corners um, towards the eye just to give it a little dimension. Okay, and I'm gonna just test. I always like to test a little bit. I'm gonna gently pull. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. It's super soft, but you can see how it just kind of added a little bit of color. I'm gonna go underneath with this color. We're gonna do foundation last today, just cause I wanna play with the eye. And we're gonna do some soft pink underneath. I always like to get creative with my makeup and just kind of blend and play. Okay. And I'm just cleaning my air gun in between, making sure that stays nice and fresh. If you've seen some of my other videos, I always keep some Q-tips on hand, pull back the lever, and just add some cleaner and clean out each color so they don't mesh and I can get a nice clean uh, spray. I mean, you can have two guns on hand, especially if you're working with clients, but if you're doing this for yourself, it's really not that much work. You just have to remember to spray. Oh, that's quite pretty, I love that. Okay, so... The last color I'm gonna go in with is the charcoal, and I think that's enough. And I'm gonna go just on the ends. Um, in terms of dark colors, that's enough. And I'm gonna just kinda of do that. Today, though, I am gonna use a stencil, just cause I want a bit of a sharper edge. So, I'm just gonna kind of guide it. And I'm going just below my eye a little bit. I just wanna blur it out, maybe right there and I'm just softly spraying. that. See how beautiful that just kind of blended in? It's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off the stencil. I always keep a black towel in my lap when I'm doing this just because that's how I like to work. I, I like to spray and paint and just kind of go with it and not have to stop, so. Oh, I'm just gonna add in a little bit more. And I'm just spraying. And it just kind of naturally does a beautiful little triangle on its own. I just sprayed twice. And then go in here and even it. Oh, add a little bit more. I'm using just one drop. So you really aren't using that much product. And I'm just gonna kind of even that out so it matches. It's beautiful. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna clean out my gun. And then the last color I'm gonna put in is a pearl shimmer right through the center, just to draw a light. I just clean this out, just dry this a little bit, just to make it solid. I have a gorgeous pearl shimmer. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna give it one shake, because it's been sitting there. I wanna make sure the colors are nice and fresh. Clean that lid. And the most I use on my eyes is maybe one or two and just kind of gauge it. Okay, so I'm gonna gently pull. I'm gonna go right on the lid, just really lightly. You can see how that just brought some light right in. Okay, so that's pretty. I hope you guys are enjoying that. If you have questions um, or comments about the product um, or the company, and what they offer, uh, please feel free to add them down below. I do look at them and answer back. And if you like the video so far, give it a like, a share, and a thumbs up. It helps me out, and I appreciate all your support and the fact you've taken the time to watch it. Um, and I'm just gonna give this a little spray. 
feels nice and light. I don't really feel anything on my eye. I think with airbrush, you have to be patient and work through it. And I don't know, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna wait on that. Just making sure I put the right lids on the right colors so I don't mess them up. Okay, so now we've done the eyes. Um, oh, where's my stencil? I sound like a crazy woman. Okay, hang on here. Okay, so I'm gonna take my stencil. This is an eyebrow stencil that I was using to do my wing liner. And I'm gonna now go in and just do a little bit on my eyebrow. My eyebrows actually have pencil on them right now from a walk I did earlier, but I want to define them because they're a little gappy. And I've just taken the same color charcoal and I'm gonna pull in my mirror right here, my close-up mirror so I can see properly. And I'm just gonna um, kind of almost fill in and define where I've got gaps right now. And then just use the corner. I have unusual shaped brow, so I like to, you can see that just kind of cleaned it up. Just the little lines, little sprays that help add a little more product. And I'm gently moving the airbrush stencil around so I don't get lines in the wrong places. Okay. It's really hard for me to do eyes first. I, I like doing foundation because I like having a solid base. Okay. So we're going to leave that alone. It's just filled it in a little bit. And I'm going to go in and do a foundation. So I've got three or four colors to pick from here. I've got a mocha, a frappuccino, and a chai. So I'm going to spray with the mocha first. It's my darkest color. And then I'm going to use the chai to I use as a highlight around my underneath my eyes, my nose, and my mouth, where for me is the darkest, and where I like to kind of play with my contouring. Okay. I'm just going to even out my skin. I don't have any foundation on right now. Um, I just did a dog walk, so I don't really put makeup on for that. Now the mocha is warmer than what I usually wear and a little bit darker, but it's going to work because we're also going to go in with a highlight. But I like to do an even palette. Is it a palette or an even base? And then I like to play. So I'm going to put the darkest color a little bit more into my hairline because I know I'm going to use a lighter color. So I'm not going to layer too heavy. And this foundation is really lightweight. Like the airbrush foundation is amazing. So, okay, so now I'm going to go in with my chai and I'm just going to clean up underneath my eye. Now this is significantly lighter, the chai color for me. It's for somebody who's fair, but I use it as a, as a highlight just to clean up and to brighten. It's kind of a camera trick. And I'm going to go in and I'm just going to clean up underneath the eye. And what I mean by clean up is I'm popping it so it brightens it. And you can see on camera that it just kind of adds, it, it just evens out the light and darks. And really that's what all I'm doing is working with shadow. I am covering discoloration, acne marks. Um, so it seems to be, it's really nice. I'm spraying ever so lightly with my lover too. So um, a couple more drops. My chin area is always my problem, so I'm always going to go in and I'm going to gently evenly blend it. I'm not looking to do like a cakey makeup or a heavy one, and I'm just going to extend this out. And it's just blending in with the mocha, so you can see I have dark and light, and it's just freshening up my look and my face to give me a little bit more highlight. Okay, I'm going to go in one more time. And I'm just doing the center. Now I'm going to take that same airbrush stencil and I'm going to go around my eyebrow to just kind of clean up and sharpen the edges. So I'm going to use my stencil and move it around. 
So this is the same thing you would do if you had a concealer. So I'm going to just wipe off the stencil, and now I'm going to do the other end. And this just, just freshens up and defines the line on the brow, just like you would a regular concealer. And it can kind of hide little mistakes if you made any and gone outside the lines. If you feel like your eyeshadow is too high, you can go in, protect your the work you did on your shadow, and just ever so lightly do a line. If you want like that little perfect highlight, you just pop in there. The same thing you would do if you were using traditional makeup products. And then I've got a little extra, so I'm just going to go on my chin where I see some darkness. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to clean out my gun one more time. I'm using my airbrush cleaner. They sell a airbrush cleaner in a couple different sizes. So they pretty much have everything you need to do a full face and maintain your products. And like I said, I've always said they have skincare as well. So it's a seamless line, which is really nice. I've cleaned out my gun, so I'm just going to spray over. It's just a habit I have. I just like to spray some air. It's also a good way to remember to clean out your gun so you don't mix colors by accident. All right. So once again, the three colors or the four colors I've used on the eye, pewter, uh, white out, pewter, charcoal, and then I used a pearl shimmer, and I popped in a soft, forgive me, I don't have my glasses on, a soft pink on the inner corners, just to give it a little dimension. And I used italic powder over the first layer just to soften that. Soften it, just clean, make sure it was solid. There was no wetness. If you spray a little heavy, that's a great little trick. Okay. Mixing caps. So anyway, getting distracted. But I used a uh, pastel pink for the inner corners. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Once again, I'll put those all down below. But I'm going slow so that you get a chance to see how I'm building the colors, and what I'm doing in between, and little tips and tricks. Whether you're advanced or a newbie, and you just kind of are overwhelmed, or you you come across these little situations. Okay, anyway, so now we're gonna do a blush, and I'm using their warm blush. So it's another uh, pink, not as pastel as the one I used on the inner corner, but it plays off of it. It's just a, a little bit warmer, and it'll work with the mocha, as you can see. Okay, we're gonna go in, I'm just gonna do a soft, Because I have the mocha, it's almost working as my contour. Well, it is a contour. I'm just doing a soft pink, a warm blush on the cheeks. And if you want, you can extend out. But I'm doing it on the top because with my contour, I went in here. So I'm creating that light and dark and that kind of definition. And then you can even take this if you want and just pop. Have some fun with it. You see how that really added a little cool? I like doing creative things with the airbrush. I like doing kind of unusual things like adding different colors. So once again, I'm cleaning out my, my gun. And I think I might go underneath with this warm blush. Underneath the eye. And just give it a little definition. That's something I like to do. You don't have to. Like I said, this is a bit of a glamour look. So I'm going to go in... You can see it's just kind of warming it up. For me, this works, and it's a really great way to add some color and definition without doing liner. And I'm not a big fan of doing liner on the bottom of my eyes for me. One, I wear glasses, and two, I feel like it's just too much with the black hair. It looks, starts looking really, really scary, and I look really evil because I have very exotic features anyway. <laughs> so I'm keeping it soft for everyone right now. Okay, so that was really fun. I love this kind of play on a smoky eye with some soft pink. We did a cheek. Um, we did an eyebrow. Um, the lip, we're going to leave last. And being that it's everyone's wearing a mask, it's the last thing I think everyone is doing or thinking about. It's just turning into a hot mask. So I'll even go nude or do a clear gloss. I like these little uh, wet and wild ones. I also get Chanel clear glosses as a little treat whenever I... I'm at the counters, so for the sake of the video, I'm going to put this on. 
keeping your lips moisturized and protected during the season. And I don't know if I've mentioned this, I haven't in this video yet, but Tickle Pink makes this amazing little pumice stone in a lipstick shape. So you can pumice your lips, helps get rid of all that dead skin and put on a nice lip gloss or a healing balm and put your mask on and not have a mess all over the place since that's what's happening right now. So I love this thing. I'll list this down below too. It also has like a minty. It's like a, oh, it's minty. So it's really nice to put on. You can do this before you go to bed, just whenever. Um, so now I'm gonna use their liner. It's a powdered liner that works really well with their product. I found that the liquid liner that I was using by L'Oreal did not work as well. And so I reached out to them and I asked them, what could I, I use? And then I found that they had their own liner. And you know, there's a, there's a method behind this, there's a reason. Um, so you, you just always have to keep that in mind that not all products are gonna work together. Okay, so I'm just cleaning off my stencil. I like to keep everything nice and neat around me so I'm organized, I can find everything. Um, I don't know what they call this. Let's see, let's put the glasses on really quick. Eyeliner sealer. So, I can't remember if you put this on first or if you put it on last. Oh my gosh. I always have a little brush. This is just a MAC brush, an angled one. Everybody knows this brush if you do makeup. And I like to just make it, you know, make it a little wet and dip it into the powder and just on the edges. I can't remember, so I'm going to test it on my hands. I put the sealer on my hand. So, and then now I'm going to do it with the powder first. I believe you do the powder first and then do the sealer. That would make sense because then it would seal it in. Okay, so. And then I'm gonna go into my mirror here. I've got a little bit of gapping, so we're gonna fix that in a second. I'll show you how to do that. I'm just gonna tap. So far there's no fall off, so this is nice. Sometimes with these powdered liners, you do so much work on the makeup and then it's just falling off. I'm just doing a little baby cat eye just to heighten and open up the eye. I've got a little bit of gapping here so I'm going to go in and fix that. It happens. It could be a, you know what I had on before if I used a cleaning product. It can be I sprayed too heavy, too fast. I also wear glasses um, for close-up work, so I may not have caught it when I was spraying. It's pretty even. Okay. Then I'm going to take the sealer. My liner went down a little bit more there, so I'm gonna match it. And that's the thing about the sealer, it seems to, to spread it, but that did give me a little more definition on the eye, so it's kind of pretty. Okay, and then for the little, I have a tiny little spot that's gaping. I'm going to go in with a smaller brush, just a flat one. And I'm using the Flawless Finish, and it's just blending it out without adding color, without wrecking it. I don't know why I did the other eye. There was nothing wrong with it. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty. So, you know, for most people, they do a smoky eye, they go all around. It just doesn't suit me. I don't feel like it's my vibe, but I think this, for me, would be the closest. And like I said, you can take your 
concealer or a lighter um, foundation, airbrush foundation, and just create your definition with your eyebrows if you want. If you feel like your shadow is a little bit too high or whatever. Okay. And then I'm going to add on the lashes. And I want to make sure the lashes stay on and don't react with the product. So this will be a test. And I will let you know what happens. So I was just going to use uh, basically, I have these lashes. You can get them at the drugstore. I've been looking for more volume and something soft looking. This is a Silky Soft Lash by Silk Noir. It's actually by, by Salon Perfect. Um, so I'm gonna put those on. I'm gonna put a fresh pair on. And I like a, a, a glamour lash. And this look is definitely a little more glamour. Okay, and I'm gonna go in there and trim it. I always trim from my ends, not my corners. That's just me. And I take about a quarter of a centimeter. Okay. Then I am um, gonna put a, uh, they have a really great waterproof sealant that I'm gonna put over the whole face once I've got the lashes on and I just love it. And it holds your eyes all day. Um, so if you're busy and you just don't have time to like look at your makeup, I think it's really great for that. So I'm gonna use the, um, well actually I'm gonna use this glue. It's a lash glue from Velour Lashes. And I'm not using their lashes today, I'm just using the Salon Perfect. But I wanted to test out this glue as well and it has a tiny little brush, which I thought would be great. Now be, since I were, you know need glasses, this is probably not so great, but I'm just kidding. Um, you can pretty much see where the glue's going, which is nice. So that it just cuts down on waste. Oh yeah. And just brushes on. I like to brush them on and then, you know, in the, in the meantime, it gives them the 30 to 60 seconds, whatever the brand requires to get tacky, which I find they all require a little bit of time. Okay, we got a little bit of a corner here, so I'm gonna cut that. Strange. Okay, just to give it a little bend. I'm gonna go in there. Get that corner. Hmm. I'm gonna hold it for a second. Move it in a little bit more. I feel like it's too much towards the end. Okay. Hi guys, I'm back. So I decided to switch out and not use that lash glue. I used the Kiss Aloe in black. Um, and then I just let it sit and get tacky because it was just way too wet and it was making a mess. And then I went in with the chai again and went underneath the eye and just cleaned everything up because like I said, it made a bit of a mess and did a little bit more pearl shimmer in the center. So I hope you're enjoying this look. And salvage this look with um, a couple little tricks. Um, letting the glue sit on the lashes a lot longer than I normally do. I just found like everything was just kind of meshing and I'm not sure why. And um, I went in and I added a little bit more liner and just really brought it out. And I think my last final touch, and then I'll stop touching it, is I'm going to go in with some charcoal and right on the corners blend in the liner with the shadow so it's not so defined. Okay, so I'm just going to do it freehand, no stencil. And that's just how I made it a little bit more dramatic. All right, I'm gonna clean that gun. So I'll give that all a minute to set. I'm gonna finish the hair and I'll see you in a second. 